Hey, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, and I hope I'll be your favorite content creator as well for Diablo 4. Now, what did I do today? Today on Kick Streaming, I took a little bit of a challenge. I tried to go from the base, okay, which ended up as level 7 after finishing the first storyline quest so I could capture Malignant Hearts. Um, I decided to try going from the very start, okay, up to level 50 in 3 hours on my Summoning Necro. This was done using the Domhain Tunnels, obviously, but um, of course I did not actually manage to succeed at the challenge. I ended up at level 41. Um, a part of this was due to the fact that I wasn't very experienced with the whole uh, speedrunning style. Um, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to do because you have to know exactly when to pull out of the dungeon reset it and go back in i guesstimated on stream that i probably lost about 20 25 minutes doing that which would have meant about two possibly three extra levels uh so i could have ended up at 44 43 ish but <clears throat> what that also tells me is that with this technique it is technically possible to absolutely level from the start, base is about level 6 because that's where you end up after finishing the first storyline quest. Well, sorry, after you start finish the first uh, seasonal quest. It is absolutely possible probably to go from level 6 to 50 in about 4 hours. I think if I had 4 hours and assuming, you know, I knew at the start <clears throat> the, the proper technique of doing this. Yeah, 4 hours is legitimately possible. Um... Now, when it comes to my build and everything, if you guys really want to see it, there is a planner link in the description of the video, okay? So you can absolutely check that out if you want to. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoy this, this, uh, the footage of this entire run. I've broken it up into the segments, um, showing how long it took me to get about five levels each. In the, <coughs> excuse me, initial segments, I probably ended up wasting a lot of time um, with slightly inefficient methodologies. So that is something that I do have to let you guys know about. All right. Thank you very much. If you decide to like, share, and subscribe after watching this footage, okay, I hope you'll enjoy it because I honestly had a lot of fun doing it and uh, I think it is a viable technique overall. Yeah. But watch the footage, decide for yourself. Also, pro tip. <clears throat> starting around level 30, I really ramped it up. So if you want to see the best technique for doing this, uh, the most efficient way, probably around level 30 is where you want to focus on. But either way, all the segments are there for you. Thank you very much. And enjoy the footage, okay? Y'all have a good one. Oh, that's right. The thank you segment will come at the end. All right, ladies and gents, recording this while also live streaming. This is the start of my challenge to get my Necromancer. It's going to be a Summoner Necromancer to level 50 in 3 hours using the Donheim Tunnels XP farm. Alright, we're going to do this as best we can. I don't know, you know, how it'll go, whatever. We're just going to try it, you know. Let's go have some fun. Let's go have some fun. I will attempt, I will make this my best attempt to actually get this done. Like, I will actually try my hardest to get this done in 3 hours, but, you know. You want to help me out? Shared stream, you know, as per normal. This isn't YouTube, so you don't have to like it, but, you know, share the stream and we'll try it. Let's see if we can. Okay. There we are. Yes, crash through the barricades. Now, I really should be in the tunnels first before this bit of the challenge, but look at all these goatmen that are around. Like, get away from me. There we go. So I ended up at level 8 before I even entered the tunnels. <laughs> Realistically speaking, I'm waiting for the Reapers to, to pop up, but, uh, you know, I'm okay waiting for that. Let's go. Okay. My new skill point, we'll just dump it into that. I really should get Blood Mist, but we don't really need it for now. So off we go.
All right. I forgot that I do have the uh, automatic detonation, so I don't have to worry about that. But take in mind, like, keep in mind, the automatic detonations do not cover your priest. All right, so you have to manually cast the shadow priest. I still remember some dude was like trying to convince me that, oh no, totally, you know, it'll summon the shadow priest. No, it doesn't. Homie, no, it doesn't. All right. You will not get a shadow priest no matter what. You can attempt to believe it, but, you know, belief isn't exactly what will uh, make things happen. You know that, right? Okay, things don't happen just because you believe it does. Let's go, minions, go. But at least this isn't like difficult or anything. So we're already level nine, and I've got I'm gonna have like a text document that'll keep track of all the key uh, things. So yeah. Now, I'm going for Amplify Damage first, because I think it'll be uh, pretty much important for this. It'll also just make life a lot easier. Of course, can I want Fueled by Death as well. I feel that that'll be a great addition. Hued Flesh, all that kind of stuff. I do want it, but I'm not going to also go too ham, okay? And take this at a very, very reasonable pace. <clears throat> you know, I keep forgetting that we really, really don't need to um, free the prisoners and actually playing a minion necro almost is like more effort than playing a uh, bone spear necro I have to admit this <coughs> excuse me I would have thought that um, a bone spear necro would have been more effort but it's actually surprisingly not like a bone spear necro compared to a summoner necro like summoner necro is supposed to okay we just hit level 10 so what time do we hit level 10 at now about th three minutes into the recording uh, oh, five minutes into the recording. Okay. Five, zero, zero. Level 10. I'm just gonna keep track of these little things in between because uh, I want you guys to be able to enjoy it just the same as I do. Yeah? Now, I've gone around this main area, so we're just gonna leave the t leave the dungeon. Blah. Leave the dungeon right now, okay? We're gonna just gonna leave the dungeon. <coughs> We're gonna go back and grab our health potions. All right, maybe get some starting gear. Now, keep in mind that this challenge that I'm doing is with a tricked out necromancer already. Meaning that my necromancer is already, you know, empowered, set and all that. We're gonna go create some potions, things like that. Why? Because it's just gonna make life easier for us, all right? So we'll grab a tiny healing potion right here and we're gonna craft, okay, we're gonna craft some elixirs. <coughs> We're just going to make about f um, four iron barb elixirs, right? We're going to pop one right now, and we will... We do want Fueled by Death, alright? We're not going to go for the Skeleton Mage stuff just yet, but we will soon, okay? Um, let's remove everything first. We don't really need any... Additional stuff there. Grab both of these. Okay. 
Then we'll grab a brutal hand scythe and we'll wait for a focus to drop. All right, we're also gonna look for, if we can, <clears throat> we're gonna look for a nice little amulet drop, but uh, for now we don't need to worry too much about that, I guess. Heading back in now. All right, it's been 10 minutes of the speed run and, well, seven minutes, sorry, of the speed run. And we have quite literally, um, at least gotten to level 10. We've got our potions now, all right? Now the real, now the real leveling stretch begins, all right? Let's see how long it takes us for the next five levels. It shouldn't take too long because the early levels are super fast, super easy. Uh, we do want reapers, but they're not gonna be here yet, so it doesn't matter. All right, if I could have some boots with movement speed, this would go by a lot faster, but you know what? It is what it is, so we're gonna deal with it. We send the skelly mans in. All right. Now you can automatically raise skeletons if they die. Keep that in mind. You can automatically do that, but you will not automatically cast the priest, since you cannot automatically cast the priest. You know, um, it's not going to be of any benefit to you if you don't at least get used to manual casting. All right. So you still have to get used to manual casting, no matter what. But as soon as a few of these guys die, you know, we can just pretty much go in without consequence or worry. Okay, we'll just put down a few of these. Cast the priests. Alright. And these guys will kill while we chill. Okay. This is Netflix and kill at its finest. God, I know you guys love my lame jokes, don't worry. It's the best part. It's the best part about this whole experience. Okay. Gotta love my terrible, terrible jokes. Okay, where are we now? Okay, we're here. Now, we have no available points, but that's alright. New pants, uh, two-handed sword, critical strike damage for this focus ring. We'll just put that on. We got, a, we got to level 11 now. We're gonna start adding points into the skeleton mages, even though they're not here yet. Why? Oh, sorry. Actually, we don't need that. My bad. We're gonna go into Fuel by Death first. Because Skeleton Mages, I forgot, are at 15. I, it totally slipped my mind. I thought that they were earlier, but they're not. So, just a reminder, Skeleton Mages are at 15. Alright. So, you only want to add points into them at 13, 14, 15. So that as soon as, you know, they're there, you've got max points into them, giving them a boost. Alright. Make sure your Skellymans always have the Priest. Okay. The increased damage is good for you. Now, these events actually waste a bit of time, but that's okay. Realistically speaking, we should be clearing the Donheim Tunnels a lot faster. But events are good and useful to some extent. we are. So why are we doing these events in the first place? Well, they're just helpful. And also, we really just want... Like that. Okay, now we don't need to worry about anything else. Because later on, of course, we will be getting, like, the automatic decrypify aura, things like that. We'll take a trip to Kyobusha to make it happen um, a little bit later. For now, it's literally not necessary, so we don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna go around gathering as much XP as possible from all this. Ah, makeshift wand. Okay, wands are gonna be your friend real fast. As soon as they have high DPS per second. Because if you don't get enough DPS per second, your dude is gonna really do very low damage. So although you want some good wands and stuff, right, make sure a DPS per second is prioritized. Yeah. If you do that, you will have no difficulty whatsoever. 
Okay, we've just hit 12 now. Aha. And now this is the time when we go to the Reapers. Okay. And we we'll want the Reapers to, t to have the corpses. Okay. Because with uh, corpses on your Reapers, life is good. No corpses on Reapers, life is no good. Okay, we have just cleared this. Now we go out and we do it again. And we just keep repeating the process over and over. And this is how we will speed level. Literally in five minutes, we've already gone up several levels. And, you know, we've already advanced our character. Now we're going to have to take a break at level 25 uh, in order to actually, you know, um, get our golem as well. We're not going to use the golem, but we're going to get used to sacrificing it very early and very quickly. Okay, because uh, sacrificing that golem is going to be very good for your health. Okay, now that we're in, I'm just going to make sure that I have my setup easy to reference. Okay, I don't want it. I don't want it uh, not being there. Okay, let's go. Also, sorry, minion tree. Yeah, that's fine. Corpse explosion clearing is very, very good, so. <clears throat> as soon as you see an AoE of dudes, just go ham and have fun. The trash mobs leave the el elites to your dudes. There we are. Okay. I love how my first rare drop is a giant axe, which I can't use anyway. Alright. <laughs> Lord knows why, but you know what? We'll just accept it. Okay, grand. But I do love the increased, <laughs> excuse me, movement speed of shrines. They're beautiful. Alright. This event is the only one that uh, is, I guess, semi-decent for now. Take it back from them. Why? Because they may actually serve you well. <clears throat> and what you've got to make sure to maintain here is uh, the curses, your minion buff, and just go straight for pretty much anything that's uh, gonna get into your way. Here you can rely on the automatic corpse explosions because it's a it's a relatively constrained area. Okay. Don't worry about loot first, just worry about getting mastery on the event. Why? Obols are a thing. And they will help you. Now you're not gonna get much, but they're still very helpful. Okay? So don't sleep on that. Make sure your minions stay buffed. Okay, grand. Uh, we are 13 now, so we're gonna get ready for the mages. <clears throat> Come online. Okay, we've got more damage here. Physical damage, lucky hit chance, okay. Beautiful. Um, we're gonna save this ring because we're gonna go back to Kyovashad and we're gonna get some. We're gonna purchase some caged hearts. We're gonna get some of those. And now there's still plenty of areas where, you know, we 
don't have to worry too much. There's still plenty of areas of enemies to kill, so we're not going to exit just yet. We're just going to clear as much of it as possible. Like, you're not aiming for 100% completion on the tunnels, so you're just aiming to kill every area of high density, right? As long as you could do that, you're in very good shape. And besides, World Tier 1, so you just want to go as fast as you possibly can. Alright. Okay, exit again. Now, this would probably be the perfect time to go back to Kyobashad. Clear the uh, basic blacksmith quest. Oh, and if you really, really want to, uh, while you're in Kyobashad, you can also very quickly... Claim all your basic bonuses. I mean, it's no real worry in that. Like, if you, even if you don't, it's, like, legit not going to affect you. But it's, like, half a level. So, I usually take that up early. Okay. Let's have a look at you. Let him do his thing. Arms for the light. Go buy up anything that has an increase in DPS. Then upgrade. Will do. I'll oh. take it. Sell everything else, because you're not going to need it. Now your goal is to get 1x Brutal Heart, just for the extra armor, and 1 Vicious Heart. So, let's go for this heart, a Corpse Explosion, that's perfect, that goes there, and we'll buy one of these as well. This one is Decryptify Aura, that'll go there. Okay, and we can just, re like, you can just repeat this as needed, but do keep in mind that this is because I've already gotten everything, so that's how speedrunning is possible, because we already have all the other materials. Um, to be fair, if you had to actually gather these, like, during the actual process, probably would not be as easy. But thanks to this, we can very conveniently just, you know, rush through the tunnels and have our way. Okay. Oh, I was wondering what I was doing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake that's costing me precious seconds. Ah! Well, it doesn't matter. I got my level 14, but I was supposed to reset the dungeon. That's so silly of me. I am so sorry, guys. It'll go like, oh my god. I, I can probably make the seconds back uh, once I actually get my shadow mages, which would be nice, but... All right, reset tunnels. Let's go. Oh, I feel dumb now. Literally wasted precious seconds. I was thinking about something went wrong there. Uh, absolute failure. All right, let's go. Sometimes you gotta accept absolute failure. Okay, increased damage. Keep in mind that because your minions get 30% of your stats now, it's not a lot. But because your minions get 30% of your overall stats, it is extremely wise to up your damage, armor, all of that kind of stuff. It'll help them survive, it'll keep them, you know, going. That's ultimately what you want. Now we're going for a lot of offensive passives here instead of anything defensive because we know we're not going to die, especially in World Tier 1. Okay. And since we know that we're not going to die, we can take advantage of it and just be like going absolutely ham. going to very quickly check the planner for 
what I used. Okay. Yep, perfect. Done. And I believe Shadow is the first ever uh, skeleton that we're going to get. <clears throat> so we're going to take advantage of the skeleton minions plus the Shadow Blight key passive later on. Alright. It should be pretty cool. Conduit Shrines are great because they are going to turn you into a speed demon. Alright. Oh damn. There was nothing there. Okay, we've just officially hit level 15. Uh, I'm gonna catalog this in the recording. Now keep in mind that we've already automatically raised our skeleton mages, so... so this is great. And we've already given them a buff as well. So let's quickly catalog that. How far into the recording are we? Okay. 23 minutes into the recording, we have hit level 15. Okay, making decent time, I guess. And we got some more free elixirs to spend, so that's pretty good. Um, okay. <clears throat> Is this going to be an event? It is, okay. <clears throat> I wonder... Would this be costing me seconds, or would this be a, a bit of a gain? We'll see. At the very least, early game. Like, maybe, maybe around level 30, I'll do this just for the extra... <clears throat> potential XP. Like, right now, it might be a bit too early for me to gain anything from this. Okay, let's completely eliminate everything. Alright, perfect, perfect. Okay, now... Do have something semi nice. My attack power would go up just a eensy weensy bit if I use the shield instead. But you know what? It's not probably not. Um. Okay. Ah, this is silly. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What I need to do now is just get more familiar with um, very quickly, very quickly exiting the dungeon as soon as it's clear. So, perfecting perfecting my route through is probably going to be the most important thing. Let's do this. It's about three minutes per dive, not taking too long, but that's okay. God, I look like some kind of crazy butcher. I love it. Okay, let's go. Oh. All right. 
Dang, we're good. Okay, now we're gonna max out fuel by death. We're still not gonna go for a defensive skill, although we should, yeah? Why are we not gonna do that? Because the next thing on our agenda is actually to grab Corpse Tendril. Why? Because making every enemy vulnerable is gonna be glorious. have a necklace more damage outsiders hood okay got ourselves an exceptionally good uh, ring that would probably be best okay we just hit level 17 right now um, right, we got all that got a huge flesh passive now we're gonna go for corpse tendril as well Upward. <laughs> right. Now I hit level 17. Things are going fairly fast. Yes, yoink them all. some good things aren't there I like it Easy. Now I am going to move Corpse Tendril over to point number four. <clears throat> now while my 
minions do all the fighting. Check. I'm always checking on things. Okay, great. Now there are enemies over there, but considering I've already reached level 18, slowed, and then of course we want the uh, vulnerability. This corpse tendrils is beautiful, <clears throat> and its power is magnificent. Let me just see if that event is, like, literally permanently there. I have a feeling it might be. So we just chuck this in here. Oh, okay. No real event, doesn't matter. We've cleared the tunnels. Alright, we are now level 18. <clears throat> it has been roughly 36 minutes. We're making very good time. Quick resets are making all this possible. I think the next time I should update my hearts would be around level um, 25, maybe 30 ish. Should be sufficient. Good. Now. I'm gonna need a focus to match that oak wand, but other than that. There's the shrine. Level 19 reached. Starting to look very beautiful over here. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna try and maintain our healthy status. Why? Because attack speed is good. Almost, almost. <clears throat> I 
I mean, I kind of feel sorry for it, but compared to like the Barb, this is so much faster simply because the Necro is a much more powerful class. Legitimately nothing has come out of like um There's been no malignant hearts, funnily enough. <laughs> Excuse me. No malignant creatures, I should say. But the armor is all good, I can accept that. Because I don't even need to like raise new skeletons, it's like everything is just literally just dying there. Pretty good, gotta admit. Damn. That's okay, man. You're the first one here. Ladies and gents, my pal, Drastic Wolf, coming for my speedrun challenge. Welcome. How's it hanging? Almost level 20 right now. Almost level 20. We just need a little bit more. Ah, let's just go where the skeletons go. They know the way. Let's start with, yeah, let's start with that. We want to increase our movement speed whenever you damage enemies with shadow attack. And this way we have permanent increased movement speed. Yeah, no problem at all, man. Enjoy using me as background noise, doesn't bother me in the slightest. For those who watch this on YouTube later, just keep in mind that I'm doing this uh, as part of my kick documentary as well. I'm like multiplying the content. <laughs> okay, we finished out at, um, what's the time now? 39 minutes. 39 minutes. Oh, 20. Okay, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'm actually satisfied. Um... There's something new, but what we are going to do is we're going to head back to town now. So we set the dungeon first, but we'll head back to town. We're going to head back to town and go uh, sell off some stuff, grab some stuff. Why? Because it's extremely important that we do that. If we cannot even do that kind of basic stuff, then that is no good. So we're going to focus on that. Get our town stuff done. And we'll carry on from there. Sometimes the best defense is a well struck. Okay, so we get rid of all this crap. 46166. Get rid of that. Good choice. <clears throat> okay, we're as good as we're gonna get. Now let's go upgrade our potions as well. Yep, we are. I'm literally trying to make the best time possible. I should be able to do it by using the Donheim Tunnel, you know, like, sp speed strat. Because I've just got this insane idea of how I can just speed this through. I might actually be able to do something pretty insane. So, you know, this is just the beginning of it, but I've got a couple of other speedrun ideas planned as well. But anyway. <clears throat> We're now level 20. We've buffed up whatever we can. Uh, we're still not going to buff up our malignant hearts because they're just good as is for now. Okay. 
The main thing is not so much offensive power, because we already have a lot of that since we're in World Tier 1. <clears throat> what we're going to need is movement speed. We're going to want the fastest possible movement speed at all times, you know? We get that, we're good to go. Okay. Even more increased attack power. Because all I'm realistically doing right now, right, is just buffing my overall attack damage with whatever I can. Which benefits the minions because they take 30% of stats. And I'm just going to make sure that uh, they get all that. So I'm going to go for that movement speed first. So I can clear through this faster. Once I have that settled, you know. And it's literally just a matter of... Uh, Getting the attack speed of minions done and everything. And once they can attack hyper fast, oh, life is gonna be good. The other thing is that I've picked up some early damage multipliers as well. Uh, no point. Um, World Tier 2... Excuse me for that sneeze. World Tier 2 is mostly used only for uh, testing out a build to make sure that it's, like, really ready. But if you already know what you're doing, World Tier 1 is just simply superior because of the kill speed or XP. So basically, most people will go World Tier 1 get to level 50 and then hop straight to world tier 3 uh, after clearing the capstone in world tier 2 of course so in general the xp bonus for world tier 2 is considered not worth it more or less which is annoying but it is you know part of it well it depends on what you're doing i wouldn't say you're playing the game wrong at all it like i said it depends on what you're attempting to achieve you see and that is something that everybody needs to understand. It, it, there is no right or wrong or things like that. There's different objectives. When you're learning, when you're learning about a build, when you're trying to get your build right, your biggest factor in trying to get a build right, trying to get everything right, is to know and have knowledge of said build. Oops, sorry, forgot to reset the dungeon. I got so excited seeing that this amulet has movement speed because this will actually just make me go really fast. So I'm really happy with that. But... Your biggest factor in learning about all these kinds of things is do I really know my build inside out? In order to know your build inside out, you are going to have to practice. So... Oh, Kaz is up. Yeah, if you if you just like I know everybody likes XP, but if you're already experienced with the build, right? You know, then you can just absolutely go into World Tier 1 and decimate. So like for this, I already know exactly what it's all about. I already know what's inside it, you know. I've already got everything ready to go. And because of that, right? I'm in just in World Tier 1 to speed run the XP, just using Donheim tunnels. It's a bit boring. But literally in about three hours, you should be able to get to 50, from 1 to 50, you know? Which is, which is, um, the whole purpose behind this. Now, it doesn't include about 20 minutes of time spent starting the seasonal quest. Alright. So you do have to be aware of that. does take you a little bit to start the seasonal quest at least. But a fast build like a Necromancer, especially a Shadow Necromancer, is very, very fast to speed through. Hey, 
Jurassic World. Wow, why did it post that three times? Apparently, you triple leveled. Lol, bot. Bots sometimes amuse me. That's okay, shoot. What's up, man? Yep. Part of my challenge. Your boy is speed running right now. Ooh. Welcome back to my new channel. Okay, level 21. We're gonna hit 22 real soon. Okay, I can see it coming already. Um, I think that's just the main tunnel area. Let's not waste the seconds. That's okay. No one is used to this platform yet. And the mobile app, as I've said so many times, the mobile app for Kick is really bad. But the streams are so good. <laughs> the stream... Do you know that I'm recording a video right now to post on YouTube later and streaming at the same time? That's how amazing Kick is. Like... There, there's no lag on stream whatever and I'm recording this entire video to post up on YouTube later while streaming. That's how good it is. So I really love how much effort they put into their their streaming but the mobile app is really sad. <laughs> That's all. But imagine that your system you can game, record and stream no lag no problems. It's that good. Very very happy. Which is really good for the uh, speed running challenges. Plus here there's less TOS but I still have to say please control yourself shoot just in case because uh, I'm gonna post this video on YouTube later. You know? Doing good today, bro. Around 11 p.m. is uh, Overwatch tonight, yeah? You wanna come along? This event, nice. It will spawn a lot of enemies, but I need them to come into the circle. Yet they all die before they come into the circle. Oh well, doesn't matter, I'll just use it for XP. I'll stand here. If they come in, they come in. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm gonna be here regardless, so... I mean, I'm gonna be on YouTube tonight regardless, so... Come if you want. Don't come if you don't want. It's all good with me. I'm Chili Manjaro.
Okay, exit. Reset. Let's go. <laughs> Surviving. For a second. Alright. Now. Let's go, let's go. Be hitting twenty three soon. in let's go with inspiring leader we're almost there we're gonna get our shadow blight pass uh key passive which will make things even crazier which is good oh he actually hit me now under normal circumstances you probably wouldn't go for passives first but it doesn't really matter here because our goal plain and simple is to get all the shenanigans done as fast as possible. the door all clear again actually yeah probably the perfect time to head back and oop. <laughs> those creatures were <laughs> about to wax us but that's all right why are we doing this we just want to really take a very quick trip to the smithy here Any small increases will always be good. So I'll take it off your hands. Don't hesitate. Show your teeth. It's a dangerous world. I would Come love to show my teeth. teeth. Okay. Now back in we go. Ooh. 
reset. Let's go. This will basically help us uh, go through even faster. We should be able to hit 25 pretty soon. Pretty soon. Again, this is this type of methodology is only recommended if uh, you legitimately know what you're doing. Like if you tell me that you already know, you know, whatever you're doing with your character, that's okay. If you are not familiar with a character's build, please do not use this methodology because all that will happen is that you will not know how to play your character and you will just have a very bad time when you get into the upper world tiers. This type of methodology is only if like, okay, I already know I already know how my character works in the you know best worst possible circumstances, whatever. I know what I'm doing. So here I am, absolutely wrecking face. That is what this methodology was designed for anyway. So you just wanna go fast, but you gotta go fast with knowledge, you know? Can't just go fast, you gotta know fast. Okay, doing good, doing good, doing good. Excuse me. Okay, 24. We're almost there. We're almost there. Shadow Blight key passive is coming. That's going to be another up on our damage. If we want, of course. I don't know why I somehow, in my mind, for that moment that you saw me, like, attempting to click something that wasn't even there, I don't know why in my mind, somehow, I, I thought that I had a skill point. And I was thinking to myself, why can't I even click on this? It's like, wait, I didn't level yet. <laughs> Brain. Really? You know, this is my first ever attempt at speedrunning something, so I guess I'm not used to thinking fast. for the perfect ammy. This has higher movement speed. It's going on. Reset. Let's go. Like, anything with just slightly higher movement speed, I'll take it, because the movement speed was is what was going to make this, like, really fast. Let's go. 
Something different, I can live it all. Why do you decide to hate me when you'll never know? Who's the man inside this mirror? Who's behind the door? You deny my own existence, so you'll never know. Hey, everybody, yo. Put your hands up and slide real slow. Bing bada boom, baby. Oh, that's right. Almost forgot. Sorry guys, just give me one teeny tiny second. Sorry guys, just give me one teeny tiny second. Boom. Okay. Sorry about that, it just took me a moment. Apologies, you have. All right, we just got to level 25. Sick. Shadow Blight key passive. Here we come. Okay, so officially in one hour and four minutes, 40 seconds, we hit level 25. Okay. Halfway to the goal. I like the fact that it's literally just one button press and automatically it's done. Don't have to think about it. Water's hot. Can I drink it yet? Ooh, reaping scythe. Look at my glasses all fogged up because of that. What is my build? Um, 
I'll actually go through it on the YouTube video, so I'll put it into a planner later on, but um, I have a general idea. Basically, I'm just stacking a lot of passives and stuff like that. The idea of this is that I, or I know I'm not going to die, so I don't really care about defense. I'm literally just stacking all sorts of offensive uh, skills, and that's it. So, <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. The build, realistically, is created solely for this purpose, so I don't know if I can consider it, like, a decent build, but, yeah, basically it's just focusing on the skeleton, minions, mages, all that kind of stuff, and, uh, that is all it's designed to do. Just to, like, the idea is just get to level 50 ASAP, and, uh, see how long it takes. You know, so I've stacked it in like some pretty weird ways. Like as you see I've got an empty spot there, that's for blood mist. Because I know I'm gonna get blood mist eventually. But I'm not using it right now because there's no point. It's a defensive, you see, so like the defensives are gonna be last in line. The offensives, ah, now that's the first, the most important thing. Because without the offensives, I will be sad. This event seems pretty fast. I can respect that. see. These boots are far better. Okay. But now that we're level 25. Ah, damn, this water's really hot. Good for my throat, but damn, it's really hot. Okay. Alright. I gotta back to town. Minions, save me. They all do that. Back to town. Need to go clean up the inventory. Then continue on. It's not like I'm going to get Barber Hard now, so it's okay. Well struck. Will do. I'm gonna go get myself a focus. My armor, live longer. Okay. This will do. I'll work on that later. Grand. Now to save me a little bit of time, I am going to go here. Just uh, see if I can grab a focus. Of course, a focus would be well, perfect. Too bad, friend. Aha! Even more power. Okay, that works. 
Back in, let's go. Donheim Tunnels. Donheim Tunnels is just basically the greatest place for leveling. If you want to do it at speed. This is the way. Okay, let's go. After this, we'll finish Inspiring Leader as a passive, and we'll get even more of the damage passives. Perfect. Scalpel. Actually feels pretty good. I'd admit that. I just realized I had not taken a potion. No wonder. Wasting time. Because now the potion duration is no longer half an hour. Um, it's more than that because of the seasonal buff that I have. So sometimes I just forget the exact duration. Oh, very silly of me. That was a waste of uh, time. See, being new to speedrunning means that I still have a lot to learn. I mean, I'll get better as time goes by, but... Boy, was that weak. The only question is, is it worth it? Journeying toward... The event. Let's see. Okay. He set back in.
right now, defensive skill for my minions. Oh, we need more offense just yet. Focus, sweet. Take it. go this way? Let's go touch it. See what happens. Okay, just a few souls. Out we go, and in again. Seven. Okay, let's go. Hey, hey, what's up? Yes, I'm speedrunning today, Mo. About an hour and a half, I've managed to hit level 27. About to hit 28 soon.
No, no, no. This is... <laughs> this is a totally new summoning necromancer. Um, basically, I'm taking a challenge where I'm going to try and go from... Well, base was level 7 because uh, that's where you end up after finishing the first seasonal quest line. But um, after you finish the first seasonal quest line, you end up at level 7, right? Then from there, uh, I'm trying to see if within 3 hours I can get to level 50. Which is the whole purpose of this, you know? Can we do it? Now keep in mind that this is World Tier 1. So World Tier 1 is the fastest for leveling if you're just doing pure speed. When you're in the early stages, so you don't have to worry about defense, you don't have to worry about enemy damage. It's just go in, kill, and you're good to go. That's why this is going by so fast. Regardless, I'm certainly going to try and get to level 50 as soon as I can. Hope your day was good though, Mo. I hope you enjoy relaxing and watching the show. Okay. Got a little bit of a damage increase. I'm satisfied with that. After I exit this, I'm gonna have to. I don't actually have to change my hearts yet. So let me see. Let me just head back to town. <laughs> Quick town trip, and then we're gonna get rid of everything. Then carry on from there. Well struck. Where in hell? Pack protector. 
Okay. Now let's go to the uh, jewelry person as well. See if they got anything good the in stock. Cuts and clarity. What suits you? Nope, not at all. Okay, back in. Alright, let me just check on the skill board that I had planned. Um, I always use Reapers because Reapers generate corpses. Uh, you can only use hearts uh, past level 5, but I don't really need to upgrade my hearts right now. Because um, usually I'll just upgrade them around level 30 plus ish. Yeah. I'm, and for the mages, I'm just using the shadow mages because shadow is probably the best out of all of them for minions. If you're going to go pure minion build, shadow is the easiest. Okay, 29 reached. Shadow passes are a good idea. Ah, curse chest. I was waiting for that. I'm going for Shadow because Shadow has some useful passives. All of it will like chain together. So if I stack all those offensive passives now, now that I got all the defensive passives that I need, if I stack all those offensive passives, then realistically speaking, these dudes should be able to... Uh... Go happy slappy.
This thing is a slightly higher offensive ability. I hadn't taken a look at my loot yet. Except that. Alright. Looks like we're good. I shouldn't waste time, but somehow I just can't resist sometimes, you know? Okay. I like to get that full exploration going. Which probably is a negative quality as a speedrunner. <laughs> About to hit 30 for sure. The only thing I don't understand, guys, is that why do the Shadow Mages have to stand so far back? Like, what is the point? Like, I get that they're long range, but do they have to be that long range? Like, calm the hell down. It makes, like, in my opinion, it makes zero sense for them to be that far back. No, I'm not using, but this is a Summoner Necro. This Necro focuses solely on, um,. Range attacks. Also, we have just officially reached 37. Seven. Level 30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is not a bone spear based necro. That, that's why there's like no uh, bone spear being used at all. This necromancer is solely focused on minions only so like obviously in doing this challenge i won't be using the same necromancer that i already have you know that'll just be boring this is a this is what we would call a pure summoner necro i mean i call it pure summoner but realistically there are of course other skills um but this is like the closest that you'll ever get to the diablo 2 style necromancer where it's focused on the minions always fun but you know obviously you don't have as much uh potency as the minions did in diablo 2. mostly because in diablo 2 you could have a little army running around here not as much still okay but not as much There's a lot of different playstyles that are viable, but like 
when we talk about viable, you talk about what's most efficient, you see. Um, and a summoner necro does have its weaknesses and also inefficiencies, which I think a lot of people have to recognize as well. It's not just a straightforward like, oh, this is this is good, this is not good, you know. It does work, but there are some preconditions, and that's why I don't recommend it for your first necro. Because I already have Mendel rings stored up in my stash, you know, so if I want to go summon necro, I can. I've got plenty of Mendel rings that can make it happen. Also, I'm using this methodology because I feel like I can test, like, some weird stuff at the same time, you know? So that's the whole reason I'm doing this in particular. Not good enough. Ha! These boots actually have movement speed. Ha! Okay, good. And these pants are better. Now, grab this, upgrade it. Why? Because anything related to movement speed is good. Basically, you want to do this, you gotta, you gotta be able to move fast. Got some new armor. Basically, to get this up and running as fast as possible, realistically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that my character. Oh, okay. Time to get some hearts for my character, I think. And the rest I don't really need, so. It's time. Let's go to kill the shot. Like, sometimes you'll just have to take a small breather to, like, uh, go get your stuff all done, things like that. We're gonna ignore the golem quest as well for now. Like, we're actually gonna do it much later. Technically speaking, having the golem right now would probably boost some of our damage, but there's also really no point in doing that. One quest completed. I'm just clearing these quests because you know. As I'm sure you. They're worth a little bit of bonus XP. But now, the key thing is caged heart. One. The corpse skill base heart. Oh, that's good. Make one. Big group of fire heart. Okay. We have what we need. Oh crud, I should have gone from the thing to kill the shot. <sighs> That's gonna cost me precious seconds. Darn it. Because now I've got to ride back out. I mean, it's not far, but still. Darn, that was very silly of me. Because wasting the travel time is no good. I can probably still get there fairly quickly. Hey, Pen. Yep. Evening streams are always on YouTube. Morning streams are always on Kick. Uh, I believe I made a community post about it. Did you check the community post? Because I did post on YouTube about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Most news and information I'll always post in the community post. I don't know if people get alerted to them or not. But usually if you have all notifications on on YouTube, you should get my community post as well. But yes, hi. Good to see you. Okay, let's go in again. Now we are at level 30. We are in the so-called end game of the speed run. Let's see how far we can get.
I see. Okay, maybe I don't have to go all the way instead. I think I can even speed this up. All right. Might be, might be possible. Might actually be possible. I can shave a lot of time off if I'm just going through the main area exit reset come back in I could actually do it possibly faster let's try because my XP just went up like by a lot during that so even if we have account for the extra uh, additional loading times I could literally speed it up let's try let's try Just kidding. I'm not going to save that person. I did sort of miss a little bit of the area there, but it's fast enough. I think even with the loading times, it should be possible. Let's speed it up, speed it up. More damage. Hell yeah.
Okay, if we go down this way. Manage. Almost a 32. The speed up really worked. There was more free XP over here. Give it a serious ramp up to this last bit. Certainly not gonna waste any time. Let's go. You just literally see the XP bar crawling up constantly. Instead of leave dungeon, I say hello. Gotta love my skills, right? <laughs> you know, all the little mistakes are what really adds up over time. 
And that is actually what slows down the uh, process. If I played perfectly and made no mistakes, phew, I reckon I'd be even further along. It's okay though. Let's hit that 35 ASAP. That's going. It's the only time I can take to very quickly check stuff. done we set back in The great thing is I don't have to worry about skeletons dying because if they do die, they just get raised immediately.
that is roughly a good half level in that time any other smaller I don't know yep we're all right yeah, unfortunately we got no choice here we are gonna have to go back and sell but that's okay I'm telling you, these last few levels are going to be like at hyper speed. Because now that I've gotten the methodology down, I'm going to really ramp it up. I can do it, I can do it. I've got one more hour. I never say die. Let us steal. But when love steals, this will do nicely. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't bother with all this kind of crap, but uh, I'm only bothering to buy. <laughs> Literally for the sake of... I'm literally bothering to buy for the sake of my minions. Because don't forget, minions take 30% of your stats. So you always want to have your minions at least borderline decently decked out. So for now, whatever I can. Let's go. Time to rush this last little bit. I have the tiger, guys. I have the tiger. Let's go. As far and fast as we can. Yep. <clears throat> Best part about the necro. You just have to make sure that you maintain all things as best you can. I know there's another whole horde here.
Okay, exiting. Next round, next round, next round. about like half a level per pop. I mean, it'd be weird if I ever complained about that, but yeah, about half a level of pop. In, out, half level. about a minute you know I have developed a newfound respect for speedrunners um, it really does require quite a bit of concentration and effort so I can respect that a lot speedrunning is not easy Come <laughs> on. 
Whoop, there we go. 35 reached. Alright, sick. It's effectively taking me 2 hours and 13 minutes to hit level 35. Now, granted, I am ramping up a lot more now than I was before, but... Yeah, that's still pretty significant. That's actually good. Ooh, we deal more damage to stun enemies. That's actually really useful. Nice. Thing I didn't let go of that. Okay. That's good enough. Halfway through. I will most likely hit 40. Probably will end up at about 43. By the end of this session. I admit it is interesting. Yep. I think that it's it's like um, because now that I really truly understand the technique, I know where I made the mistakes earlier. Like, because <laughs> it all adds up. Like, every second that you take, like, with this kind of thing, every extra second that you take is probably gonna be, like, you know, not as good 
for your final time. So, although I would have wanted a much shorter final time, I really made a lot of errors at the start, like uh, going for certain things, you know, not fully taking advantage of the, like how the map is structured, stuff like that, and not knowing when to actually exit for like best effect. Because like right now, you see that huge horde? I decimate that and I get like a whole bunch of XP and it takes a couple of seconds. But by not finding like the big hordes or like trying to find every single horde, you end up like inefficient, you see? That's the only that's the only thing that like I think I have to learn if I want to do another speedrun challenge. Because this is my first time ever doing this kind of thing. So I guess inexperience played a big fa a big factor in this whole thing because you can see the difference in speed you know so like when there is that huge density and you're at your critical mass your er your earnings per second is huge you know as opposed to not earning per second just because you know you fucked up on on the density choices and stuff like that yeah so you're absolutely right you know it does make a huge difference and yeah see here if I had full mastery of this, right, and I pulled out at exactly the right moment, I could just have saved, um, I, I would say in total, like, my lack of correct pullout time would have saved, would have, like, saved me a roughly 15 minutes, which would have been, I would guesstimate, based on my current speed, about a level and a half at level 40. So instead of finishing at 43, I'd probably be able to finish at 45, you know? Which would have been pretty close, like, a lot closer to goal than, you know, folks would think. But honestly, I guess I'm still pretty impressed. <laughs> because, uh... Being able to do it like this... And still, like... Even with all my inexperience and stuff... Being able to get it done mostly right is pretty insane. Even the time that you spend checking your inventory should be while your minions are in combat. That way you're, you're not losing any uh, time at all. But anyway, we're gonna go all out. You know. No time for sitting around. If I get exactly there, dip, and then come back in, you know? Makes it perfect.
Now that we have Bone Storm as an ult as well, things will get a bit faster. realize by the time the event even starts up you know it's such a waste of time yep, it's about half a level per pop but this is super fast already. Okay, 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 okay. We can do it, we can do it. <sighs> now we got Bone Storm. So we can, we can rush, 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 rush. Feels so good. This is actually going like a lot faster now. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Okay, I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a quick trip to dump. I mean, dump stuff in the in in town, but that should be all right. No sense in missing out on the town trip. 
We can definitely, like, I can definitely get to 40. I will try for 43, you know? Seven short of 50 is not too bad. And I think, like, honestly, at the current speed, it would probably just take another half an hour. And I could well do that. You farming Grim Favors? Nice. Honest to God, this is going so hard, I can't believe it. Back 
out. Yep, the leveling rate cannot even be compared anymore. Uh, by the time I hit 40, yeah, I definitely can get 43. I definitely can get 43. If I had just done my earlier stages a little bit better, you know, just a little bit better, like my speed would have, I, I would definitely have hit 50. Damn it. There's definitely like um, a learning curve to the technique. Hmm. Ah, damn it. If only, guys, if only I had known the ideal technique. If only I had truly mastered the ideal technique. But now that at least, like, I get it, it's just so fast. Shame. Alright, see you later, Mo. <clears throat> you have a good one and thank you for hanging out, man. Oh, no troubles at all, man. No troubles at all. How else would I end up doing a cool speed run like this if not for my amazing audience, you know?
Okay. That was perfect. Speed is so real right now. I love it. If only I had perfected my technique at the start. Damn it. So good. Now I'm level 39. I can definitely hit the 40. And then we'll just push up a little bit past it. I think 43, definitely doable. But I am honest to God overwhelmed with the regret of not uh, having perfected this technique. Like, I mean, now I know, but. Uh, if I could do a do over.
I hadn't realized I cleared most of the tunnel already. Okay. A moment to rejig my equips, but ready. Now we do have a curse shrine, but even one minute is a bit too long. Actually, you know what? 30 seconds, I'll take it. I'll take it as an opportunity to see, uh... of this might be worth. Oh, damn, if I... You know what's annoying? If I, if any, if I take this one minute, like, I feel that the value's not gonna be that much. Let's see the, let's see the final. Okay, so the events are okay-ish, but not like... Not like the absolute be-all and end-all, you know? It's way- yeah, it's worth way more to just kill off whoever's like... Around you. Okay, so don't really bother with events, like... Just take whatever, you know, you get from the events, like if you get a... <laughs> Good amount of enemies to kill or something. That's fair enough. Beyond that, they're not really worth it. Which is a shame. But...
Let's do it. Okay, so we reached level 40 roughly about 250. Now in these last few minutes, how far can we go? I want to at least reach, you know, in these, in just in thus like this last few moments, I want to at least try and reach like 41, 42. I must. But again, so many regrets. If, I, if only I had like perfectly mastered the technique to begin with, you know. This would have been like so easy to do. I mean, I don't think anyone can argue this is a significant improvement for um, how long it would normally take anybody to uh, level up this much. Let's say overall it's pretty good. Still definitely a good half a level. And I do unfortunately have to take a town trip. Damn it. I mean, aside from a few minor, like, hiccups along the way, having to grab this and that, honestly, this was a pretty good experience. Oh, 
take it off your hands. Now I'll use this. I'm going to take a quick look at the uh, pendants as well. This does have better movement speed. Return soon. I don't feel like losing the uh, heart for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, listen. Uh, we're going to make the best use of the last few minutes. All right. I don't care. I must get at least level 42 before I end. I must at least get level 42. But yeah, aside from like just my minor technical hiccups, it was uh, honestly okay. Leads out to the big area. Means after I murder these guys, if I go around. Forty one, okay. Okay. <clears throat> now I have like legit two minutes left. Such a shame. I thought we'd at least get to forty three, but uh Looks like 41 is the limit. I probably have time for like one more delve, but you know, thank you guys for joining me for this uh, speed run today. I really do appreciate it. And uh, honest to God, it was pretty fun. Honest to God, it was pretty fun. Made it as far as we could. I hoped that I would have gotten to 50, but yeah, I didn't have the right technique to uh, 
accomplish that, unfortunately. If there were like perfect, a if I had like perfect aspects and everything, you know, ready to go, probably could have done it. But um, <clears throat> with just the base stuff and a lack of true technique, it was a lot harder to uh, get where I need to go. There was so much wasted time. Like if I focus solely on segments like this, as an example, it would have probably been possible to just go a lot faster. Which I totally understand as well, you know? When it comes to this kind of thing, you really gotta have its experience that really drives it. So I gotta admit, the XP does kind of slow down a little bit after level 40 in World Tier 1. It's also probably because my thing ran out, but... Hmm. Proper maintenance of elixirs and just, I think, overall... Um, Having like the best possible technique for this kind of thing, like knowing exactly where everything is, uh, when is it best to exit, reset, that kind of thing. All of that I think would play a huge factor, but what this has proven to me is that, you know, at least even playing rough relatively normally, mm, this place is so chock full of XP that you could genuinely go, you know, in just a three hour session. Uh, assuming, like I said, you know what you're doing. Like, from 7 straight to 43, probably very possible. You know, some classes might have an easier time than others, depending on the build as well, but for the most part, this was, uh, this was pretty darn good. is definitely so good okay ladies and gents <laughs> that brings us to the end we have done our absolute best uh, it's a bit of a shame that I couldn't get all the way to level 50 uh, but you know for what we did manage to do I'd say this really wasn't bad let me head back to town so you know I don't end up dead halfway through but yeah, that was really, really good. Um, I am thoroughly impressed. I am thoroughly impressed with uh, the overall leveling speed of the Donheim Tunnels. And the fact that we could go all the way to 41. Not bad, really. Um, once again, you know, just covering what I've been saying this entire time. Technique is so important. If you go through the dense areas and then pull out immediately after, you could probably... Yeah, you could probably save... Like, I could have shaved, out of that entire total, I could have easily shaved at least 20-25 minutes off that entire time, which would have meant an extra one or two levels at the end. So in that entire three-hour session, theoretically, if I had perfect technique, I could have ended up at level 43-44, you know? But I wasted a lot of time testing events, you know, going around, like, especially in the early stages, I went around the whole way, you know, like... Uh, checking out the events, things like that. Such a waste of time. Focus on just the most dense areas, right? Easily 44 within within three hours. Still impressive, of course. You know, which means that getting to level 50 would take like around four hours. Assuming perfect technique, you could go from, well, you'd still have to do the, like the start of the seasonal quest, which just take about 25 minutes. But you'd start at about level 7, and you could easily end at level 50 in about four hours flat which is 
Very, very good. So, thank you all very much for joining me today. All right, the, the full footage along with the build that I was using and everything else like that, um, I will post it up on a YouTube later. Yes, three hours worth of footage will go up on YouTube later. Thank you very much for checking this out, and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye-bye. Catch you all tonight on YouTube. Okay, so for anyone that made it this far, all right, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> and here is my thank you to all the people that have supported this channel, all right? Our August bigwigs, our Big Chungus as our top tipper, okay? Um, the other top tippers are Jason Leaving, Mo Rizzle. Our top super chatter, Big Chungus and Ender are tied for the same amount as our top super chatters. Um, other top super chatters are Marcus, Marcos Carrillo, Juan San, Mike Cawthorn, Daryl Neo, Tim Edmondson, Mo Rizzle, I'm not that guy. Top channel membership gifter, Big Chungus. Highest channel membership gifters, Mike Cawthorn, newbie, Books Lucas. Thank you guys so much. All right. And thank you very much to all of our top channel members as well for making this content possible. Like I said, please, please, please do consider, all right, supporting my content as much as you can. Okay. <clears throat> Now, um, where is my membership list? Ah, there they are. All right, starting right at the top, we have Big Chungus as the only fan. All right. <clears throat> Death Dawning 92 at Plus Ultra is one of our longest members. Thank you so much. We've got Jerry Fast, OG, Rogue Assassin, Zach MG at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. Okay. <clears throat> and now the list of our honored robots. Juan San, Corey Ryu, Marcel, Kashiwa, Bob John, Maxim Lots, Devin Lashin, Muki Mocha, Rena, Chase Taylor, Nathan Strong, Nightshade, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Che D12, Sayed Asad, Kota CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, Nate the Great, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well. I will see you guys on the next one, okay? Y'all stay healthy, happy, and sexy. Get your data.